Ah, uh, bikini bottom during Christmas time. Everyone loves Christmas time, especially SpongeBob. Merry Christmas, Gary. No. It's only the best time of the year. The presents, the trees, the joy. No. Oh, Gary, you know we can't get COVID. We're Legos. No. Hit the music. But Squidward, who lived just west of SpongeBob, did not. Now, please don't ask why. No one knew quite the reason. Perhaps it was of his lousy job at the Krusty Krab, or how he can never play the clarinet the right way. Hey, I heard that. But whatever the reason, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, I know SpongeBob and Patrick will wake up bright and early to open their presents. They'll play their stupid games, but worst of all, they'll feast. They'll eat turkey, which shouldn't even be possible because turkeys are land creatures. But then they'll eat ice cream and pizza and Krabby Patties. So many Krabby Patties. And the more Squidward thought of this feast, the more Squidward thought. I must stop this whole thing. I've put up for this for two years now. I must stop Christmas. But how? The Squidward got an idea. An awful idea. Squidward got a wonderful, awful idea. I know what I'll do. I'll make a Santa Claus hat and coat. You're a mean one, Mr. Squidward. You really are an eel. You're as cuddly as some coral. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Squidward. You're a bad Krabby Patty with a greasy black bun. You're a monster, Mr. Squidward. Your heart's an empty void. You're devoid of any talent. You've got patty grease on your soil, Mr. Squidward. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot spatula. Hey, I have fantastic clarinet skills. Sure. Now I need a reindeer. Wait a minute, I don't need a reindeer. Uh, yeah you do. It's what happened in the original special. I'll just use my car. Hey, where are you going? Hey! This is stop number one. The squid hissed as he climbed onto the roof. I don't actually have to climb up the roof right- <laughs> Help! Help! A few hours later... What the f- And then Squidward moved on to the chum bucket. But then, Squidward remembered that Plankton was still stuck in the real world, so there was nothing to steal. One day I will make it back. One day, I will have my revenge. Then you will all know the name Sheldon J. Plankton. Weirdo. So then Squidward went to each house stealing their Christmas decorations. He stole the decorations, the trees. He even stole the Christmas feast. Now for the tree. As Squidward took the tree, as he started to shove, he heard a small squeak of a certain sponge. Squidward, what are you doing with my tree? But you know that old squid. That old squid was so smart and slick that he thought of a lie and he fought it up quick. Why, Spongebob, my boy. I'm Santa Claus. I'm just taking your tree to the North Pole for some maintenance. Squidward, I know it's you. Um, you never saw me. Squidward, wait. What about the character arc from the movie? Are you seriously just going to disregard all that character development for a dumb parody? You're right. And what happened then? Well, uh, most people. Ugh. 
And what happened then? Well, as most people in Bikini Bottom say, that Squidward's. Mm. And what happened then? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and what. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. And what happened then? Well, as most people in Bikini Bottom say, that Squidward's small heart grew three sizes that day. SpongeBob, I feel like my heart grew three sizes today! Oh, wait, I, I don't feel so good. Nah, good one, Squidward. Squidward? Squidward! And then Squidward learned the true meaning of Christmas that day. And to also have a more balanced diet. <laughs>